Hi savings. Halloween is coming and that means it's love scene and evil time. Yay! I'm a cute bunny. This is my Halloween costume. I decided to dress up as something cute and not scary because I'm cute and not scary. <laughs> Volume 1, Episode 5, Cards on the Table. It's so creepy already. You knew where we were going and like you knew exactly what to look for here. Oh Johnny, I didn't want it to come to this. Come to what? But we, like, beat you to it. We found the secret room in, well, in the secret room. You found the crypt? Crypt? Huh, that explains a lot. Like, why there were those slabs on the floor and why there, like, wasn't a freaking wine in those bottles. You touched the bottles too? Did you break any? Or we just, you know, poured out a bit of one and... Mmm... Oh, the teacher suddenly lunged at him. No, run, Johnny. Please, run away. Please, don't take my Johnny. If there's a chance, I will kill him. I don't care. Where's the crypt? Ah. Johnny recalled in surprise, dropping the candela room he, gra he had grabbed. Screw this I'm out of here. Run, baby. The student ran without thinking until the teacher's voice had faded far behind him. So like, where should I go? Let's just stay on the level. I hope this damn castle has a, a, a goddamn annex or something. Please don't take my Johnny. Please don't take him. I waited him for so long. Five episodes, like... Johnny ran without paying much attention to the path he took, eventually winding up in a very strange place. Uh, is this even supposed to be here? He looked around in confusion. Well, it's one of those scary mirror rooms that used to be in carnivals and stuff, like freak shows. Who the hell builds a mirror maze in their home? This isn't a fun house for crying out loud. I don't know if these mirrors everywhere, like back when I was a kid, that are made me dizzy or it's... Johnny, we need to talk. I don't want to talk to you, I'm afraid of you. I'm not that much of a moron, I'm not gonna fall for some catch, catch, what was the number? Catch 22. Whatever. You're a pretty smart guy. I knew he was the smartest one. You nearly figured things out, but you got something mixed up. Yeah, I mean, I knew there was something fishy going on here. Chet, he was a decent guy, like a boy scout for crying out loud. Why the hell did he start acting like a bully? No, no, no. I remember the type from when I was a kid. I wouldn't have gone into the mountains with someone like that. And Tony, so he... Wasn't just acting mysterious, I thought he was like doing the brooding dude thing to get girls. But he knew something, just like you. With those words, Johnny kept wandering deeper into the twisted maze. I brought you along to keep spirits high in the group, to cheer everyone up. Yeah, I'm a funny guy. The funniest. Damn it, he's not falling behind. He's right on my heels, I thought he'd get lost. Odd people shouldn't be this good at mazes. I'm not that odd, and yes, you said it out loud. It's time to get out of here. Oh my god. In his attempts to confuse the teacher, Johnny ended up at the dead end himself. No, no, no. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get out now? Like, where should I go? Oh, please don't take my Johnny. There's something wrong with these mirrors. I'm not reflected in any of them. I don't like this at all. Maybe something's in them. Johnny was right. The mirrors were unusual. They were hiding someone. Ooh, creepy. Bloody Mary. 
Wow. You. Um, let's take the lesser evil. She looks chill. Hello, Johnny. You don't want anyone to hear us, do you? And for him to know where you are. Johnny, did something happen? Did you find something? Everything is fine. There's a monster in the mirror. I don't want to talk to you. Silence is golden. Where are you? Give me a sign. That's right. Johnny switched to a whisper. How do you know my name? In the mirror word. There are no secrets. Everyone knows everything. I'm not here by choice either, just like you. Well, actually, I came to the castle voluntary. Oh, I don't know when that's my opinion. He's so cute. You know the rules. Free me and I will help you get rid of your pursuer. But according to the uh, rules, doesn't the one who summons the monster have to like Die in the most horrific way? I will make an exception for you. But you are the queen of spades. You don't make any freaking exceptions. You know. Oh my god, I misclicked. I'm sorry. This always happens when I record. Like, why? Well, you are like a Slavic monster in the mirror. I kind of just read some stuff on the way here. What are you doing here anyway? Oh. She's creepy. Oh, she's scary. This castle has become a refuge for many creatures of darkness, and now it's time for us to break free. Something nearby crackled. It seemed Mr. Collins had stepped on some of the glass shards shredded across the floor. Quickly, you're out of time. I don't want to agree because I don't want to endanger Johnny. I don't want to break the mirror because I don't want to endanger Johnny. So if I agree, then Johnny will be in danger. If I break the mirror, then Johnny could be in danger because I will let her out. And um, if I also break the mirror, like I could get injured myself. So no, we are backing away. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't like any of this. Trying not to touch anything, Johnny cautiously moved away from the mirror. Stop, where are you going? Out of here? There you are. Uh, Johnny jumped in surprise and stumbled into the mirror, which knocked over another one, setting off a chain reaction. Johnny. One of the few mirrors in the world made from the consecrated silver of a cathedral's cross. cross. The thing that has held me back for centuries. Oh no. I'm free. No. Johnny, damn you. Oops. Oh my god, here we go. The student dashed away, leaving the teacher alone with the monster from the mirror. We haven't been properly introduced. I'd intended to have this meeting later. Well, too bad. We will have to set up things now. The monster immediately moved towards the teacher, but recognize this. What do we have? This dagger. Where did you get it? That doesn't matter. What matters is that even a creature like you can be hurt by it. Is he like a monster hunter or something? He lurched forward. You are my territory. The monster disappeared behind the nearest mirror and the eerie game of cat and mouse began. Okay. Oh, the first one. You can't fool me that easily. Take this. Just try it. Just try it again. The second one. Okay, this is going well so far. I will get you anyway. <sighs> he 
he will live. There you are. He's too quick. It's time to find easier prey. Why is that buffon? Don't call him that. Wait, should I look at the candles or... Um, the first one and the last one is lit. Oh, right. At least there's something other than these damn mirrors. If I survive, damn, I swear I'm not gonna look at my own reflection for like the rest of my life. First one, last one. Got it. I knew it. Oh, looks like a dead end. Wait a minute. Hmm. He took a closer look at the candles. All. The candles are lit here, but I'm sure they weren't all lit when I looked at the reflection and there was some kind of circle on the floor. Sue mentioned something like this, but I was in the wrong state of mind at the time. Oh, Johnny. So, there's something wrong with that mirror. I should check it out. But before he could turn around... Here's Johnny. The Queen of Spades stood perfectly still in a haughty, aristocratic pose as shadows swirled around her but as soon as johnny blinked she was a step closer to him okay no more blinking <laughs> you won't be able to hold out for long that damn hunter was too much for me but you you are a different matter hunter hmm. this can be the end the guy bumped into the altar as he backed away the candles this is my last chance <laughs> The monster moved a step closer. A second one. I have to put out all of them, but the first and the last one. Yeah. I hope Johnny will live. The monster moved a step closer. Something's changed in the room. Yes, it did. I knew it was something of trap or something. Yeah. That's what intelligence is all about. Impossible. Very possible, you scumbag. Oh, no. And with that, the completed ritual banished the monster from the plane of reality. I see you were able to handle things. Yeah, so were you. Are you going to run away again? Yeah. <laughs> well, probably not this time. It's a dead end after all. I don't understand. Are you some kind of hunter like in the movies? I have like a ton of questions by the way. So do I. There is no time for them now. And there are things I still need to do. Alright, I guess I will stay here for a while. Think about life and all that. Sure enough, Mila found neither the teacher nor any her classmate in the hall. But she did find traces of blood which she followed like breadcrumbs. The sound of her footsteps echoed through the halls. Oh, don't cry. The events of the past day had upended her entire world. Pain and tears squeezed her throat, threatening to overwhelm her, but Mila clung to her last bit of strength. She knew she couldn't afford to spend precious moments teetering over the brink of despair. When she reached the opposite wing of the castle, she stopped at the heavy door and pulled it toward her. Strange, the trail leads to an annex. We never went there before. I hope it's safer than the rest of the castle. I hardly have any strength left to fight for my life, come what may. We gonna meet Johnny. She slowly continued down walking into the basement. Suddenly, me noticed the shadow ahead. Who's there? Wolf, cat, bat. Um, let's take the wolf. Hi, Wolfie. You again? Mila had already grown tired of the frequent clashes. <sighs> he doesn't seem to us die though. But the wolf simply stood there, as if warning her not to go any deeper into the maze. I think they want to help us. I need to get through. 
Hmm. Let me through. He oh, needs food. He just needs food. I think we got. I think we got off the wrong foot. <laughs> he looks so scared. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. You aren't yourself and you're hungry. How about this? When Mila passed through the main hall area, she had taken a backpack of supplies with her. I'm sure he's gonna be happy. Yes, that's right. The animal and ghost in its meal moved aside. Hi, Johnny! Sitting on the floor and leaning against the wall, Johnny blankly stared off into the darkness. When he noticed the shell at in the doorway, he startled and squinted, feeling around on the floor. Hey, Mila, is that you? Yeah, it's me, baby. <laughs> she moved closer so that he could see her better. The anxiety vanished from Johnny's face. I'm so glad to see you. Thank goodness you're alive. Mila rushed to him, giving him a tight hug. Johnny was taken aback by this, but he put his hand on her back tentatively. I thought everyone had forgotten about me or just like given up on me. Oh, don't say that, Johnny. Her voice trembled. What? No, it's not. Thankfully, everyone is alive. I'm glad to hear that. We definitely need to gather everyone together and figure out how to get out of here. But for now, we need to survive. Horrible things are happening here, Johnny. One after another. I ended up in a bar room. Then there were lights and a masquerade with beautiful dresses. I was dancing and then I saw a succubus. In another room, we encountered the spirit. Reporter guys, probably. He was lifting objects into the air and attacking us with them. We are trapped in a cotton horror movie! Well, now I feel relieved. What? I mean, ghosts and demons, all that shit is real. So, like, there is a heaven and hell? He's in his own world. And damn it, that means there is a soul and it's immortal. And we haven't, like, been lied to all of our lives. I love him. He has a very interesting personality but he's so positive he's so optimistic i live for that we never said lost four words and then both of us silent for a few moments actually i have been thinking about it and came to a, a conclusion don't freak out basically collins is a monster hunter like he came here to kill the vampire living here but we acted like a bunch of idiots and everything like went wrong we he kept warning us all along. I think we are going to have some questions for him when this is all over. If we survive, that is. Oh, don't cry. Are you gonna cry again? Stop crying. Yeah, I can't help it. As my grandma used to say, the more you cry, the less you pee. <laughs> what? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at that smile. He has my heart. You Johnny, all this horrible stuff is happening in you. He's trying to brighten up the mood. What's wrong with it? Well, I just want to think about something nice and life on the farm was good. Chickens here and there, cows and dogs. Oh, he's from a farm? That's so cool. I love country life. Yeah, when I get out of here, I will get a dog. A big one. Damn it. My parents wouldn't let me before, but now I dare anyone to try to stop me. Let's go, Johnny. What would you get? A dog just like you, a friendly cat, something exotic. Something exotic? Something unique, not like most pets. Maybe a snake or a spider or a scorpion. Um, yeah, don't ask. A ferret. Oh man, they always seem weird to me. They are like the love children of snakes and opossums. He's so cute and he's so smart. Ah. You must be a magician too. 
Huh? I did some magic tricks as a kid, but like, I don't think it's my thing. He's amazing. But everything around us is dark and terrifying, yet here I am, smiling with you. Oh, Dad, that's my natural charm, you know? I'm like the charm champion. Oh, it seemed as if the whole world had frozen and was quietly waiting for Johnny to bring her back to her senses. His face was closed and his eyes sparkled, open and filled with sincerity. Kissing! This is our moment. Yes. I'm so happy I waited for Johnny. Their faces both moved to close to distance, their lips met inevitably. <laughs> a slow, uncertain kiss. They both seemed to be struck by a sense of disbelief. Life had brought their past together long ago, but they had only realized what was between them now, in the face of mortal danger. After a few moments, Sony cautiously pulled away and and her hand through his trusted hair and took a deep breath. Don't pull away. Mina, sorry, I don't know what came over me. Don't be sorry, I wanted this. Like, I want this. Don't say sorry. What are you apologizing for exactly? For this? He looked at her slightly swollen lips. I couldn't resist. No, there is no need to apologize. I wanted to. He looked at her in surprise. He hadn't expected to hear that. Oh, he's one of those guys who has like very, very low self-esteem. Oh, don't be like that. So, you mean you like? Mia lowered her eyes shyly, unable to withstand his hopeful gaze and quietly said, I should have taken a closer look at you sooner. The hope in his eyes were replaced by enthusiasm and certainty. Finally, better late than never. <laughs> he cupped her chin with his hand, prepared to continue from where they left off, but she had ideas of, their own, of her own. <clears throat> I would like to switch things up a little, if that's alright with you. Johnny nodded and Mila smoothly swung her leg over so that she was sitting on top of him. She reached for his hands and placed them on her hips, never taking her eyes off him. This is more comfortable, right? Johnny tensed slightly at first, but he quickly eased into his usual relaxed state. So slowly. As if testing her reaction, he squeezed her hips gently. And even this seemingly harmless touch rose strong feelings within her. Mila leaned closer to him. Johnny pressed his lips together tightly, suppressing a low moan. <sighs> That's so hot. She couldn't feel his sweatpants. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> She could feel his sweatband growing tight beneath her. She put her hands on his chest and felt his pounding heart. Every beat betrayed his arousal. Johnny glanced at her lips, then her eyes, then her lips again. This is still some kind of dream. No, it's not a dream. His cheeks flushed, giving his skin a healthier color. She had his face in her hands, feeling his light stumble, and brought her lips to his again. This kiss was more confident and grew more passionate by the second. Their tongues intertwined in a dance, known only to them. At first, Johnny yielded to her, following her lead entirely. He's mine. Then he began to take more and more into initiative. He grew bolder, his hand slid around her waist, moving down on her butt in rhythm with their kiss, either stroking or squeezing tightly occasionally, and deciding a soft moan. 
Me not good to feel how rude Johnny was. And kisses wouldn't satisfy her own desire. Oh my god. Johnny, wait. She whispered it directly into his lips and leaned back slightly to catch her breath. He looked at her questioningly. We can stop now right there or we can go further. Okay, it's up to you. I will respect your decision, whatever it is. I actually very, very like that. I don't know if there are stories where like girls lead the romantic special scenes. I don't know, like I can't think of any, always like guys leading and I'm not saying that's bad, but it's definitely something new and I love it. And it's sweet Johnny too, like from his personality, it's like totally like he's like a little shy and like humble guy, not really bored and not really courageous, I guess. I really, really like him, like he's very close to my idea type. Why am I exposing myself? And I love that he's so respectful. I just love that we are in the lead. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Well, maybe I would prefer one over the other, but that's on me. Oh. I think I can guess which one. Ah. Continue. Ah. Finally. I don't like stopping just when things are getting interesting. Me neither. Now you're speaking my language. You don't happen to have protection with you. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, Johnny could barely contain his laughter. Do I look like someone who has to... <laughs> I love him. Especially with you. Oh my god, stop. Guys. No one can top Wyatt, but he's top two. Well, we will figure it out. Mira becoming a bit more assertive, sit her hands up under Johnny's hoodie. He shuddered a little, but quickly relaxed against her gentle touch. Johnny pulled her closer, seemingly afraid of that. If she moved away, the woman might fall in pieces. Any traces of awkwardness between them seemed to have vanished. Their emotions burned brighter and hotter, spurring them onto this thing with each other they had never even dreamed of. Was it just empty passion, sparked by the comfortable nostalgia of their shared past? No. I love him. <laughs> passion bore from hopelessness about their situation and the fear that they might not live to see tomorrow. And what of passion itself? Is the fire that sustains deeper intimacy or merely blind desire? Perhaps time would tell. With each passing minute, they grew more consumed with each other. Johnny explored her body without holding back, but there was still a line that he hesitated to cross. So Mila took it upon herself to slide out of her clothes, revealing her underwear. Wait, help me. Check if I'm bad enough. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me a hand. She took his hand and pressed it to her falls. <laughs> I can't. Inside, try with your fingers. But, oh my god, that's actually so sweet. But who knows what germs I have touched in this basement already. Oh my god, he's such a sweetheart. Okay, hear me out. This is so rare that a guy actually thinks about hygiene. Wyatt out, Johnny in, top one, from now on. What? It's unhygienic. Same. I don't want to get a yeast infection. We might not live to see it morning. Come on. Sonique completed reluctantly, first the edge of her underwear side and slowly 
slit his fingers in. She was already quite wet from the lengthy foreplay. He held her by the waist with one hand while caressing her with the other. His movements were slow and measured and she shifted her hips slightly in anticipation of more. Johnny watched her with fascination. Oh my god. He couldn't keep his eyes off the way Mila kept biting her lips and how her eyes rolled back with ecstasy. Her breathing was already uneven and Johnny could feel how wet she was from his caresses. He quickened his pace, wanting to bring her to climax but Mila shifted her hips back, stopping him. No, I want something different. She slid his pants down, exposing his erosion. <laughs> when she abruptly sank down onto him and everything seemed to swim before her eyes. Oh. Johnny let out the low groan at the same moment. Mila began to glide up and down, catching glances of the plans and between anguish and bliss in his eyes. She rose and fast, sometimes rougher, sometimes smoother. With every motion, she gave a sob or let out the long moan. She moved quicker, then slowed down a little. Holding his shoulders, she worked her hips. Johnny clasped her waist with one hand, helping lift her up while the fingers of his other hand slid rhythmically over her most sensitive spot. She began to moan without restraint. It seemed like the sounds would carry to every corner of the castle. Her legs were beginning to cramp, but with each motion, she speed up to match the rhythm of her breathing. Mila, stop. Uh, um, he had her in his arms tightly, forcing her to stop. If you like this even a little, then that's great. But well, these aren't the best circumstances and we don't have protection. So stop. But you are. I won't die, it's fine. Oh my god. If you would like to, we can do this some other time without any monsters lurking around somewhere other than a basement. I'm in love. Would you like that? I would like to take you like out on a real date first. Take me away. Now we really need to survive because I really want to go on a date with him. Like please. Soya beans, he has my heart. The one and only Johnny now has climbed up to the first place. So now he's top one and the second one is Wyatt. I'm sorry, Wyatt. Still love you, but Johnny is just the one. But right now, it is what it is. Really, Mila, that was amazing, like magical. <gasps> what a gentleman. What a gentleman. He is. Then I'm holding you to that. She stood and quickly cleaned herself up, and Johnny did the same. Then she sat down next to him on the floor. Alright, come here. It was hard to tear themselves away from each other. They sat there kissing passionately until the lips were sore. God. Damn, I hear something. Something's going on. Then we should check. Let's get out of here. Honestly, I would rather not. I mean, we're okay here. Johnny, let's go. Be a man. Mila headed towards the exit. Johnny followed after her, signing heavily. We have to do this, Johnny. Our path led to the main hall. What the hell is going on here? It's a new monster, an earthquake, definitely a ritual. 
And the pieces were falling into place and Mina didn't even need to guess. She knew what would happen next. She only had to prepare herself mentally for it. All of the survivors had come to the same place. It was as if they were drawn there by an unknown force. Oh my, there's no way my corpse is going to end up in a place like this. And this is just the beginning. The real horror is yet to come. No way, whatever it is, I'm not giving up. Johnny stood there with an almost serene expression as if nothing unusual was happening around him. You're weird. Why now? It's too soon. I told you it was gonna be like in that movie, but you all laughed at me. Oh, hi. And then everything stopped as suddenly as it had started. The creatures who guarded and served the castle began to arrive from different directions. They were waiting. They knew. They could sense it. The shadows came to life and began to move. Mina felt that every square inch of the castle had frozen in anticipation of its lord and master. He walked in silently. Okay, he's handsome, but I won't cheat on Johnny. It seemed that when he moved, he didn't touch the floor. In fact, he was unconcerned with any laws except those he intended to impose himself. The loyal familiars bowed their heads before their master. What a wonderful night. Every second I spent in ovulation, I thought only of it. He cast a regal gaze across his domain. My home, my stronghold, what has become of you? What a depressing sight. No matter, my power has returned. Soon, these lands will welcome their master with gratitude. And the humans will receive their rightful punishment for betrayal. The night will be mine again. A surge of popular rage swept through the stone halls. Calm down. The army of darkness trapped within the castle's walls rejoiced. Oh, I have guests. In an instant, the creature was at the bottom of the stairs. I see that my lord hasn't been kind to you. I fear you will think I'm inhospitable. I have seen you in movies. Movies? I don't know what you mean. A form of art, perhaps? But that's hardly surprising. My name was once known throughout Europe, and people would say it with horror. The creature reached out toward Mila's hair. Your hair is very similar to hers. The red eyes clouded for a moment as their gaze peered into distant memories. So, it was not all in vain and destiny is giving me a chance. Stop speaking in riddles. You are gonna answer for all of this right now. Stop, Chad. Relying on his strength and agility, Chad rushed headlong to attack without any regard of the monster's strange appearance. Of course, of course. A single wave of the hand and... The guy was hurled to the side of with bone crushing force. What is that smell? Familiar. Very familiar. Tony emerged from the shadows. Tony? It's me? Who are you? You are too young for us to be acquainted. Yes, we don't know each other personally, but our ancestors met. Who are you? I carry your blood within me. Impossible. The hunters burned her. No, she just escaped your tyranny. 
And now I have come to claim what's mine, the eternity promised to my family. Oh my god, you will have to earn it. Tony, when were you planning to tell me about this? Oh, stop looking all sad, you know everything all along. I never thought I would live to see my fantasies come to life. And be horrified by them. Dreams are the devious tricks. Hmm, and who is this delightful creature? At that moment, Courtney went paler than Sue on Halloween. Don't, don't come near me! As red as a cherry hath seen youth. One can hardly ask for more. Damn, I thought your owner would be pissed about the chairs. Chairs? The vampire turned to look at the chairs burning in the fireplace. A trivial matter, unworthy of attention. And while the creature was distracted, Mr. Collins moved behind its back. This is my chance. The teacher lunged at the vampire, striking with an Asian dagger. No, this isn't your chance. It all happened too quickly. Mina didn't even see how the vampire ended up behind the hunter and grabbed him by the throat. Oh my. I mean, you can kill him, I don't care. Your kin simply refused to give up. I'm not so easy, kid. You shouldn't have returned here. The red eyes glanced at the dagger. Oh, I understand now. I thought the demons had matted down the last of them, but one I see remained. What do you want? The creature straightened up to its full height in front of her. Tonight, I need you. Okay. It just so happens that we share the same plot, and now our hearts beat in union. I can't and don't want to harm you, and you, by the way, can't harm me either. So what then? But I must remember my manners. For this feat, you have earned a ball in your honor. I don't understand. That's not surprising. I will give you time to come to your senses. Now you are in my territory and therefore under my control. Your body is certainly, but I will try for your soul too. Oh hell no. Your time under my control could be an endless torment every day. Calm down. Or it could be that happily ever after they speak of in old fairy tales. And my decision will depend on you. Choose an appropriate outfit for dinner. My family will escort you. By the way, I'm quite old fashioned. He's giving me um, the masked man vibes from uh, Shadows of Saint 4. Under the supervision of the demonic familiar, Mila made her way to her chambers. Like, do you guys remember when we had to um, dine with him as well and dress up? Yeah, same stuff. Suddenly, the enormous wolf nudged her hand, seeking pets. Oh, so now you're being friendly. First you attack and now you are trying to be affectionate? <laughs> well, no, you will have to earn my favor. The door slammed shut behind her. This is madness, this is insanity. A ball, a feast, a reception, I'm not ready for this. But there was no turning back now. And for the sake of staying alive, she needed to choose an outfit. Um, let's play along. I may not know other rules yet, but by playing to its pride, I can try to thwart the vampire's vigilance. As strange as it may sound, this is my chance. It's time to get into character. Mm, I like the color. Um, no, too dark. Ooh, pretty. Oh, this one's nice too. Duchess, wow. This is very, very pretty. I like this one the most so far. After the, oh my god, stop. I'm not gonna lie, I would wear this on Halloween. Um, 
Let's go it. Oh my god, it's so hard. Oh my my. The familiar was telling her that the moment had come. It's time. Oh wow. Have a seat. It's time to decide your fate. 